developing tonight. The mayor of Richardson is stepping down. Laura Masca wrote on Facebook that she wants to focus on her professional career, her family, and her health. Channel H, Brett Ship tonight, live in Richardson. So, Brett, there's more behind this decision to resign? That's right, John. The mayor's Facebook posting today announcing her resignation on the face of it seems somewhat harmless, but a, a group of upset residents say this is more of a scandal than merits an official investigation. Richardson Mayor Laura Masca's untimely resignation traces back to this empty lot and the homes just beyond it. In December of 2013, the mayor voted to turn the lot into a mixed use development, which ultimately will include more than a thousand apartment or condo units. That despite her campaign pledge opposing all multifamily projects. Nearby residents were outraged, but now they're livid. It's a very suspicious coincidence that the timelines are matching up the way they are. These homeowners have just learned that Mayor Mosca has decided to step down after filing this, an office holder conflict of interest form disclosing a business relationship with Mark Jordan of JP Realty Advisors, where she has just taken a job as a leasing, marketing and communication specialist. Mark Jordan also happens to be the developer in charge of the project that has these residents upset. I think once a project was awarded or rezoning was awarded and a public figure goes to work for that person, we just need to make sure everything is on the up and up. Does it pass the smell test? Uh, to me, it will if we get all the facts straight, but right now, no. Mayor Mosca started her job with the developer yesterday. Today, she posted this on her Facebook page. After much prayer and conversations with my family, I have made the decision that I will not serve as mayor for the 2015 through 2017 term and intend to submit a declination of such office at the city council meeting at which the election canvas will be conducted. So the mayor will remain in office, stay as mayor until the end of April. Who becomes mayor after that is yet to be determined. Again, these residents say there's more to this story, and they are asking the city attorney to conduct an official investigation. Reporting live from Richardson, Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. Other news tonight, upset homeowners are calling for the Richardson mayor to resign. Two ethics complaints have already been filed over Mayor Laura Mazka's relationship with the private developer. And now, News 8 has rec records that show the two had a personal relationship during the same time she voted to award him a controversial zoning change. News 8's Brett Ship joins us tonight. He's got some details on this. Brett? That's right, John. When we first brought you this story three weeks ago, both the Richardson mayor and the developer denied having a personal relationship during 2013 when the developer was seeking a controversial zoning change. But we've obtained personal emails indicating the two had what some tonight are calling an unethical relationship that they say wrongly influenced a critical vote. Tonight, News 8 investigates. Three weeks ago, Richardson Mayor Laura Masca announced her decision not to accept a second term, serve out her current term, and to immediately take a job with developer Mark Jordan. Um, I'm just going to cut to the bottom line. I do believe that mixed-use development is the highest and best use for this property. In December of 2013, Masca voted with the majority of the council in favor of granting Jordan and JP Realty Partners a controversial zoning change to develop the Palisades, a retail complex with hundreds of apartments. Following our story, two ethics complaints were filed by homeowners claiming the mayor's first voting for and now working for Jordan violated city conflict of interest rules. After not responding to phone calls, we caught up with the mayor at City Hall. Sure. Can I talk to you about your relationship with Mr. Jordan? Uh, you know Can what? you describe that to us? Mr. Jordan is my employer. Okay. Maska says she and Jordan were not then and are not now personally involved. In this email, six days before that 2013 zoning vote, Maska at 1221 in the morning used her personal email to inform Jordan of the strategic position of the homeowners opposing his project. At 3.36 a.m., Jordan responds, okay, they flipped. That particular email was supplied to News 8 by the city of Richardson via an open records request. 
But there was more to that email that was not provided to us, but we later obtained. At 7.04 a.m., the mayor appears to extend an invitation to Jordan for a get-together that day. Masca, I have a dart pass for me and a friend and need some things from North Park. Go reread, dork. I said you can bail. I'm playing today. Jordan responds, love to manipulate. Now I'm excited. I'll meet you at my GW2 building. We can park there after your meeting and we can jump on the dart there. Call him a dork. Oh, yeah, I, you know what? I'm friendly for sure, but I'm friendly with everybody. So again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I've, I've commented on the email. The mayor repeatedly insisted that exchange was strictly professional. Yeah, I can tell you what this was about. I was going to go ride the dark. The, see, yeah, go the to dark North Park. Fire. Yeah. Well, because you know what I was going to do was there's a lot of discussion about um, the dart uh, vans picking people up at the dart station and bringing them over. And so, again, what I do typically is I test it. The mayor says she and Jordan never met up that day. Is that, is that in your opinion, an ethical compromise? That is not ethical. Jack Hardiman is one of two Richardson homeowners who filed ethics complaints against the mayor. He says now seeing the personal emails between the two only reinforces his position. I think that, uh, that her and Mark Jordan uh, weren't acting as they should have as a mayor and someone that was trying to get a, a zoning change. We also showed the emails to the other ethics complainant, Will Silverthorne, who calls them inappropriate. I, b I believe there was and I believe it's, it's, it's starting to be exposed. And I believe because of that, the legitimacy of the Palisades development is now called in complete question. And I believe because of this that the mayor should resign immediately. The city's outside attorneys have been appointed to investigate the ethics allegations against the mayor. They will submit their findings to the city council by next Tuesday. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. A News 8 investigation led to the growing call for Richardson's mayor, Laura Masca, to resign. Upset residents crowded City Hall, outraged at new emails depicting a personal relationship between the mayor and the developer of a controversial apartment development. In one of the emails, the mayor told developer Mark Jordan she had taken a bullet for him while defending his project, of which she later voted in favor. Laura, we're here tonight to ask that you resign. I've begged you privately and will now insist publicly that you do. The mayor should resign effective immediately. The city council should publicly call for her resignation. Ms. Maxna, you're embarrassing the city of Richardson and you're embarrassing yourself. Do the right thing. Resign today. Mayor Maska declined to comment on the emails tonight. Her attorney says she will not resign because tonight was her last formal city council meeting before a new mayor is appointed next month. There are new calls for Richardson's mayor to resign. A group of homeowners accused Laura Masca of violating city ethic rules based on her involvement with a local developer. News 8's Brett Ship obtained a new email in which the mayor admits to, quote, taking a bullet for the developer in the defense of his project. The Richardson City Council will be meeting in just a matter of minutes tonight. A group of upset homeowners is expected to call for the mayor's resignation based on some emails that News 8 uncovered last week. Well, tonight we have another email, and this one, the mayor says that she has taken a bullet for the developer of this controversial project. Tonight, News 8 investigates. Sure. Can I talk to you about your relationship with Mr. Jordan? Uh, you know Can what? you describe that to us? Mr. Jordan is my employer. Citizens have already filed complaints against Richardson Mayor Laura Masca, alleging an unethical relationship between her and developer Mark Jordan. In December of 2013, Masca voted in favor of rezoning land Jordan and JP Realty Partners needed for a major retail residential project. This month, the mayor announced she will resign after the upcoming election. At the same time, she's gone to work for the developer, leading to an ethics investigation by the city. Since that announcement, News 8 has made public personal emails which appear to show a casual relationship between the two. Now there's more, and it involves Richardson resident Cindy Silverthorne. 
In November of 2013, before the crucial zoning vote, Silverthorne emailed the mayor asking detailed questions about the proposed project. This email, obtained by News 8, indicates the mayor then forwarded the questions to Jordan for him to answer. He responds back to the mayor with answers to the questions. Quote, see my answer below in red. Don't forward this to anyone. Just put it in your words. We showed Silverthorne the email this afternoon. Uh, he says, what? Don't forward this to anyone. Just put it in your own words. What does that tell you? He doesn't he want doesn't you want, yeah. yeah, he doesn't want, yeah, he doesn't want me to know that he drafted all of the responses. In another personal email between the two, again, just days before the critical vote, Mayor Mosca tells Jordan, quote, last night the Prairie Creek homeowners mob hit me hard. I was taking bullets for you. Silverthorne believes that correspondence establishes a clear conflict of interest. I think first and foremost, she needs to immediately resign. It's inappropriate. It's, I mean, it, it's again not how, not how a mayor should be conduct, conducting herself with someone, a developer who's trying to get a proposed zoning. Again, tonight homeowners are expected to call for the mayor's resignation. Tomorrow night, a special meeting. Outside attorneys will present whatever their findings are of an ethics investigation that was called for by these homeowners some weeks ago. Reporting from Richardson City Hall, Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. An outside investigator has cleared Richardson's mayor, Laura Masca, of any ethics violations. This after calls for her resignation over a relationship with a developer. But the mayor isn't in the clear just yet. The investigator found she may have violated public information laws. News H. Brett Ship was at a special meeting of the city council tonight. He joins us now live. He's up in Richardson. Brett. Hi, John. The complaints against Mayor Mask is centered on her relationship with a developer at the time of a critical zoning vote. But what may end up getting her in trouble is her alleged attempt to keep critical records from News 8. Critics and supporters of Mayor Laura Masca packed Richardson City Hall to learn the outcome of ethics complaints filed against her last month. Residents had accused the mayor of carrying on an unethical relationship with developer Mark Jordan during the time of a critical zoning vote. Laura, the scandal involving you and your boyfriend slash employer, Mark Jordan, it's going to go away. The citizens have seen you who, who you are a liar and an opportunist who seeks to benefit for your own personal gain. News 8 had uncovered emails indicating the mayor and the developer had a personal relationship that both had apparently tried to keep under wraps. In one email, Mayor Masca told Jordan she had taken a bullet for him in defending his planned development in front of a mob of upset homeowners. But the special investigator told the city council that written correspondence does not constitute an ethics violation. Mayor Masca did speak in her own defense and denied violating ethics or criminal laws. But I also want to be very clear. My decision on Palisades zoning and candidly any other zoning that has come before me was not influenced by that relationship or any relationship. While the investigation did not find a violation of any ethics codes, it did find that the mayor may have failed to turn over emails to News 8 in violation of the Texas Public Information Act. Results of tonight's findings will be turned over to the Dallas District Attorney's Office for possible prosecution. Reporting live from Richardson City Hall, Brett Ship, Channel 8 News.